Hello, this is Lena Taro. Let's take a look at how the TI-8384 calculator can help us to create a residual plot. I'll use the data that I already have stored in my calculator from the previous example. In list 1, we had the miles driven for Ford pickup trucks, and in list 2, we had the price. Because I've already run a linear regression on my calculator, if I hit second and list, we can see that we have a list of residuals. Let's put that list of residuals in list 3 so it's beside our data. To do this, I'll hit stat, enter, go over to list 3, scroll to the top of list 3, hit second, stat, and choose the residual list. Then I'll hit enter. We can see that some of the residuals are negative and now let's get our scatter plot of residuals. To do this, we'll hit second, y equals, choose plot 1 to be on and of type scatter plot. Our x's will still be in list 1, but our y's will be our residuals, and those are stored in list 3. I could have also, if I preferred, choose the residual list here by choosing second, stat, and choosing option 7 for residuals. Let me go back and make that list 3 to be consistent with the fact that we've put the residuals in list 3. Now we'll hit zoom and choose stat and we can see that our residuals are fairly well scattered and there's no discernible pattern. So it appears that a linear model is a good fit for this data.